I'm a score, you're in my way. That's too bad, is what I say. Kicking a ball and singing like opera stars? What are you doing? <laughs> See, an aria is an opera solo. Ow! We're playing opera soccer! It's the same as regular soccer. But when you play, you have to sing. What a strange idea for a game. Yep, me and Angela invented it to celebrate our genius plan. See, Angela wanted to go to the opera next week, and I wanted... <clears throat> to go to the soccer game that's on the same day. So we compromised and got tickets to both. That's not a compromise. A compromise is when both people give something up. Great couples compromise. We are a great couple. It's a compromise. Guys, a little help here? Tom, you and Angela really work as a couple. I knew you'd make it to this major relationship moment. Thank you, Hank. Wait, what major relationship moment? Your anniversary, of course. Yep, it's right here on my calendar. I can't wait to see the amazing gift you give Angela. Lucky girl. Oh, no. This is bad. I forgot our anniversary. <gasps> I don't know what to get Angela for our anniversary, but if it's not great, she's going to be really mad. If you are great, get a prank call kit for my favorite podcast. Ginger, my relationship is on the line. I think she might get me this really cool one-of-a-kind soccer jersey, so I have to get her something just as good. Do you think she'd like six heart-shaped potato sculptures? No, uh, Tom, you gotta think, okay? Is there any subtle hints that she may have dropped? Any clues at all about what she might want? I wish I had these limited edition opera glasses. Check out these limited edition opera glasses. I like that billboard because it's for limited edition opera glasses, which is something I want. I think she mentioned some opera glasses once. Uh. <gasps> That's them! The perfect gift! Oh no, they're sold out online? Hey, look! It says there's one pair left in town. Oh, you got this, Tom. Aha! Hey, it's not like people are gonna be lining up to get opera glasses. Yikes! We have got to find a way through this crowd. A good gift for my girlfriend depends on it. Hey, look! The saleswoman! Hi! Hey, over here! Calm down, people! The last pair of rare opera glasses will be here soon! So, please stay calm! Stay calm! The delivery truck, I see it! Out of the way, everyone! What do you want? If the kitchen is flooding, I fix it next week. Please, landlord. I really need those glasses. I see. You mean these glasses? <laughs> yes. So stylish. So classy. So fun. This is an anniversary emergency. I'll pay you. I don't need your money. I overcharge you as it is. Hmm. Say now, are these tickets to the sold-out soccer game? My lady love is a soccer fanatic. To make her happy, perhaps I could trade you. I wish I had those limited edition opera glasses. Oh. Welcome to your anniversary dinner. Something that's been planned for a while and certainly wasn't thrown together at the last minute. Ah! I said wasn't! You know, Angela, I heard this place has an award-winning chef. Two awards! One for perfect attendance and one for, hmm, free throws. 
<laughs> Very impressive. Happy anniversary, Tom. Here, for one super awesome year together. Wow, thanks. And for you. <laughs> <laughs> These are the glasses I wanted. And this is the jersey I wanted. You're the best. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. You know, it's funny. I almost forgot our anniversary. So I ended up having to race all over town to find that jersey. What? Me too, with the glasses. And then there was only one left, and Miss Vanthrax bought it first. So I had to make a trade. Me too, with the landlord. I gave up my opera tickets so I could give you that jersey. Me too, with the soccer tickets. Huh? Wait, you gave up the opera tickets? Well, I, I got you those glasses so you could go to the opera. Um, and I got you that jersey so you could wear it to the soccer game. Tom, what did you do? Compromised for us. But you traded the one thing that made my gift good, so why didn't you tell because me? Because I didn't think you'd give away your tickets like a bozo and ruin everything. <laughs> Aw, it sounds like you guys care so much about each other. You both gave up something you loved so the other could be happy. Ooh, so romantic. Shut up, Hank. We have to get those tickets back. <laughs> No trade backs. Me and my lovely lady have all day of fun and romance planned, and it'll be so much better than a shirt, and I win. Sorry, losers! Oh well, Tom. Maybe we won't totally ruin our next anniversary. If there is a next anniversary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Angela, come on. We can fix this. This is. Nonsense, but seeing you sad makes me want to barf. What are you talking about? Just watch this! This weekend, we're going to be at the park to give away tickets to the soccer game or the opera gala. All you need to do is win our pasta eating contest. Wow, that's great. I can still get the opera tickets for Angela and prove that I'm a good boyfriend. This is it. The opera's today, so I'm going to eat like there is no tomorrow. All right, pasta munchers. Whoever eats the most before time runs out wins. Ready, set, soon. We got a pasta man uh -huh. champion of his table. Oh. Now he's got to defeat the champion of table two. What? There's another table? Oh. Yeah! No way. It's you? <sighs> I felt bad about our last fight, and I decided to take this last chance to win your tickets back. That's exactly why I'm here, but for your tickets. I don't believe it. Once again, we came up with the exact same plan. We really are a bad couple. Wait, this is good. Now we can compromise and get the opera tickets for you. I've got a better idea. How about we compromise and get the soccer tickets for you? Oh, God. I want you to be happy. Too bad because I want you to be happy. MC, start that clock. I've got to beat my boyfriend so I can sacrifice my happiness for his. Typical Angela, you are going down. Ah! We got ourselves a chill. Ha -ha! Let's do this thing. So you 
you get the tickets to the soccer game and the opera! I never want to see pasta again. So, since you don't seem to be able to move, if you're not using the opera tickets, maybe we could... Take them! Tom, those soccer tickets could help a small boy fulfill all his dreams. They're yours. Yeah. <sighs> oh. I guess we're staying home. It's the best compromise of all. I know, Bracelet. I'm banned from doing tech. I just like to look back sometimes and remember what this garage was like when it was full of amazing science. Huh? <laughs> what in the name of the cosmos is going on out here? Check it out. Oh. I won a contest where the prize is going to space to write my name on the sun. Oh. It goes to show, if you mail in enough cereal box tops, good things can happen. Yeah, I want to yo-yo that way once. Welcome to the Victory Club, buddy. Is this really something a contest can give away? The sun belongs to everybody. Angela, don't get caught up in the details. What's important is, that is a spaceship, and I am going in it. Tom, take me with you! Please, 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 please. <sighs> Here. <gasps> you can borrow my special new high-tech astronaut watch. Yeah! Which I also won. Man, this is a good contest. Whoa! Tom, be careful out there. I'll be fine. It's only space. Well, he's having a nice Thursday. Huh? Why is my watch beeping? Hello, Tom. Oh, <laughs> the CEO. Wait, you're not Tom. Did I call the wrong watch? No, I borrowed this from Tom because he went to stupid space. He did? He really fell for it? Yes, apparently he... Wait, fell for uh -huh. it? What's going on? Oh, not much. Except I set up a fake contest and tricked Tom into thinking he won it. I just blasted my greatest enemy off this planet forever. What a wonderful Thursday. Bring my boyfriend back right now, CEO! Why would I do that? With Tom gone, I'm finally free to do whatever business I want. I could make a mind control TV or make food only available to people who work for me. I should write this down. I'm burning through ideas. <sighs> he cannot get away with this. We have to save Tom. Right. And I know how to do it. <laughs> I'll construct a satellite to find Tom, uh, then connect it to a magnetic lasso. Technology can... Ah! Oh, right. My anti-tech bracelet is gonna be a problem here. Seriously? How did you not get rid of that thing by now? I tried. It can't be removed. But if the bracelet won't let Ben make the Tom <laughs> saving machine, does that mean Tom... <laughs> Can't be saved. Hey! <laughs> You're just jewelry, and jewelry is supposed to make the world better. It's too bad we can't make friends with the bracelet. Then it would understand how important it was to save our other friend. <sighs> but you must have already tried that. Sorry for bringing up an idea you already tried, everybody. Actually, we haven't tried that idea. Hmm. Maybe instead of fighting the bracelet, we should become friends with it. Let's do it. But we have to hurry. Tom must be so scared right now. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. This is profile pick material. For show. Whew. Looking up a sweat. Didn't know space was so warm.
Okay, bracelet. Let's get friendly. The first thing you need to know about being a friend is friends play games together. So I'm gonna kick this ball and you try to block it. Ready? Oh, that's not very friendly. When I think of friends, I think of makeovers. Bracelet, get ready for a friendship makeover. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 And that, and okay, I'm trying this. Perfect, and ta-da! Wow! For me, the best part of friendship is just being silly together, and there's no better place to do that than a photo booth. <laughs> this is ridiculous! There must be something... Ow! I don't know if I even want to be friends with that thing. That bracelet is a bully. Well, we have to do something! My astronaut watch says Tom is getting further and further in space. Wait a minute. I don't speak evil technology, but I know what that sound means. Ben's bracelet has a crush on Ginger's watch. <gasps> what? Oh, come on! Listen up, boys. Oh. I have a plan. Look at all this space stuff. Oh, I gotta send these pictures to Angela. She'll be so jealous. Uh, where is the Call Earth button? Aha! Huh? Ah! Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, what, what is going on? Strange, right? <laughs> CEO? What are you doing here? I already told you, friends, but I like saying it, so you didn't win a contest. What? You got tricked by me. Now you have to live in space. <laughs> you took advantage of my trust of free things that come in the mail? That's low, even for you. Maybe, but it all worked out perfectly. Except you gave away your fancy watch, so I had to come out here and mock you in person. Still, that's not going to mess up my plan. Oh, yeah, well, that's what you think. I'm coming over there to take over your ship. <laughs> oh, my. That didn't help you at all. You just pointed yourself directly at the sun. <gasps> oh, no. I really don't like this, guys. Quiet, Ginger. This isn't about you. It's about your watch. Are they hitting it off? What do you think, Angela? I'm not sure, but it's time to find out. Ginger? <sighs> I had a lot of fun being friends with you, but I have to go home now so I can move to another country. Nice knowing you. Ginger, surely we'll see you again? Nope. This is the last time you'll ever see me or any of my things, like my bike or my helmet or my cool astronaut watch. I know, Bracelet. It's sad. Move on. You and the watch are from two different worlds. He's right. The only way you could be with that watch was if you got off my wrist. So what can you do? Tom, it's been nice knowing you, but this is as close to the sun as I'm willing to get. I'm sweating through my suit. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angela. I always knew I'd go out like this. Is 
get you. We thought you could use some help. Too, but I don't get it. Who built this machine? I know it couldn't have been Ben. It sure could have been, and it was. All it took was my amazing science genius and a bit of friendship. Nice. No bracelet. Hey, I'm oh, so well, glad to be here. This can't be the end. She's too young to depart this world. Stay strong, <laughs> Hank. She's in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch! Ah! Will somebody answer that? Ben's phone. <gasps> Miss Vanthrax. Miss Vanthrax, no! Uh, Ben is very busy at the moment. Give me that! Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, Velma, you sound awful. <laughs> I've come down with a cold. Uh. <laughs> now, the class needs to decide on a project for next week's science fair. And I was wondering if you were free. It would be an honor. Oh, excellent. Now, it's not for amateurs, so no baking soda volcanoes. <coughs> Understood. I want that first place ribbon, Ben. I want it bad. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ben, you have to fix the fridge. Maybe later. I have a class to sub. Wait, don't leave her like this. Miss Anthrax sure was bad of you yesterday. Hey! Just left my skateboard in the hall. She's the one who decided to slip on it. <laughs> ben! Hmm. What are you doing here? I'm your substitute teacher. As you may have heard, Miss Vanthrax is homesick. Yeah! <laughs> okay, take your seats. Man, we just hit the jackpot. Ben's not a real teacher, he's just a guy. Ahem. Our goal is to come up with an idea for the science fair. I've printed information on some exciting fields to pique your interests. Microentomology! Xenopaleontology! Botanomineralogy! Are your interests piqued? Eh? <laughs> Ginger. Huh? Are you even listening to me? What did I just say? Um, there's a fair and... Interest? <laughs> no, Ginger. The fair is extremely important. We need to come up with an idea. Let's just make a volcano. No volcanoes! Come on, cut the mean teacher act. It's me. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Just lost your class there, racist. <gasps> Wait, what? You can't do that. I just did. And if anyone has a problem with that, you can thank your boy. <laughs> Let's face it, Tom. We have to eat all the food before it spoils. Okay. I think I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Why don't I call my neighbor Mike? He fixed my air conditioner when it broke over the summer. <laughs> Mike, why didn't you call me to fix your air conditioner? <laughs> what? What's so funny? No offense, Tom. It's just, well, you're not really a handyman. Oh, yeah? Watch this. See? The coolant tank is almost empty. Yeah, that's a bagel spread. Wow. <laughs> and it is almost empty. <laughs> Oh, 
Miss Vanthrax, I'm gonna take this in the hall, and when I get back, I wanna hear some good ideas for our project. You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> oh no, they're behaving. I just had to show them who was boss. Excellent. That first place ribbon is as good as yours. Mm. Well, I hope so. I'm going back to sleep now. Don't screw up. <laughs> I can make this right, I promise. Oh yeah, how are you gonna do that? I've got a plan. All right, class, let's see what you've all come up with for the science. Sorry, Ben. It was you or me. <laughs> you see, Angela? Good as new. Mm. Oh. I should have called Mike when we had the chance. What? Those little savages! How dare they disrespect an educator like this! Hey, uh, Ben, you have something on your what? face. And uh, huh? most of your body. <laughs> Miss Vanthrax is going to come back to a class that hasn't even started the science fair project. Oh, I'm a failure! A failure! Hmm. Ben. Sounds like you might need my help even more. You don't know these kids, Tom. They're monsters! Well, when it comes to dealing with monsters, you might say I'm pretty handy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I guess we could try to fix this. Are you sure about this, Tom? Just follow my directions and say what I tell you. Oh, and be cool. <sighs> <laughs> Together, buddy, or you're gonna lose them. So, have I got your attention yet? You? Excellent. Now, what do you want to learn about today? No wrong answers. Um, math? Wrong! What do you really want? Um, video games? Great! Let's play video games! <laughs> Great job, Ben. Keep it up. The day is almost over. What? But we haven't even started the project. Huh? Right, right. Okay. I should probably mention... Cool teachers don't get a lot <gasps> done. <gasps> Our science fair project, and everyone get some grass. Science and stinks. Hey, science stinks. Science Quiet. We goofed around all day, so now we're doing this project, whether you like it or not. Hey, Ben. Here's what we think about you trying to get serious about learning all of a sudden. No. That was a. It's not my fault! The paper cheated! The paper never had a chance, Ginger. The aerodynamic forces on that thing are totally off balance. Whoa! Wait, science can make paper airplanes better? Oh, oh that's way cool. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on here? Velma, you're feeling better? I was, until you turned my classroom into a rumpus room. But, 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 but I... You should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs>
Excuse me, Teacher Ben. I need to improve the arc of my plane's flight path. What can I do? Hmm. It looks like you're forgetting one of the four major forces that act on a plane. Remember? <gasps> it can't be. After all these years. Oh! I'll increase my wingspan to get more lift. Children so eager to learn. Excellent work, Benjamin. Excellent. <laughs> well, guys, it seems like Ben did what? How'd you do that? <laughs> Easy peasy, icy creepsy. Huh. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. <laughs>